being a systemic threat, then going into the integrated route as a threat, as Russia was, means that everything that the government does then flows from that point. So it means that you can no longer be ambivalent about what China does. You have to view it in the light of it being a threat. So that means, for example, we've got uh, illegal, I think they're illegal, but the government seems to turn a blind eye to them, Chinese police stations bullying Chinese expats to go back. They're not alone in this. They're in all sorts of countries, Holland, the Netherlands, Germany, all these countries. But they're being much more aggressive about it. Hell, uh, the Hollanders shut down uh, theirs the other day. America's kicking them out. Yet we seem to be completely ambivalent about whether or not they're doing this bullying, having video links back to Beijing with their families brought in, being threatened in front of them if they don't go back. We've got this new embassy complex that they want to build, which is the biggest embassy complex in the whole of Europe, right in the heart of Europe, right next door to the city of London. You know, really astonishingly inept if the government now allows the appeal to go through. We can go on, all these things, Confucius Institute spying on Chinese students, our university is completely dependent on Chinese money, and us, as an economy, far too dependent on China, a dictatorial regime. None of this can happen unless we see them as a threat. That's the key.